search team returned to a southern Kentucky lake today to try and find a missing man. Clarence Holmes disappeared nearly four years ago while helping other boaters during a storm at Laurel Lake. The crew believes there is some new evidence pointing to where Holmes might be. Phil Pendleton was there for today's search. It's our top story at five. Underwater teams have been looking for Clarence Holmes multiple times over the last couple of years. He disappeared four years ago, but a crew from Louisiana believes they have pinpointed a specific area where they are very optimistic they may finally find something and bring a family some closure. And that's the tree that we've got. It is another look in the deep, dark, tree filled waters of Laurel Lake and a specialized dive team from Louisiana. We were looking for a specific tree and a group of trees down there that we obtained uh, some video images back in July of last year. Mishud believes the tree may be large enough to hold human remains. Divers are on their way to visually inspect the tree in the pitch black cold water. It has a resemblance that it could possibly be human remains. Uh, it's coming up on four years now, so a lot of things have changed and happened from the time that, that Clarence went overboard. The tree is 60 feet tall, possibly an oak tree that is 120 feet down from the water surface. If there is bones or a skull or a watch or anything that could identify Clarence that could easily be removed at this point, we've already been given the okay. If you get something, bring it up. And this crew says they're very optimistic based on what those sonar images are showing them. But they say even if this search, which could last up to a couple of days, turns up nothing, they will come back. They will not give up in their search for Clarence Holmes. In Laurel County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Holmes disappeared on July 5th, 2012. Police investigated, but foul play was not suspected.